Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about adding a call out and secondly we're going to talk about adding a text box on top of a call out which in researching this I found out the basic method includes a text box. So we're going to go over to the screen and show you this real quick. We have our image or whatever it is we want to call out. It's just simply a matter of going to the home shapes select your particular call out that you like paste it in you can move it resize it and then to add the, to add the text you just simply start typing You can also resize the text by selecting the text that you want resized and then adjusting the, the size and of course you can change the, the actual font. Where's my favorite Arial? You can actually you can actually save the size of the call out you can make it larger you can rotate it you can do all the format features you can change the color of it whether you want to feel or gradient or something else so it's pretty easy to add your call out the second method i had made a little harder for some reason you go to home shapes, select your call out add your text you can enlarge it but what I didn't know <clears throat> is that you can also or what I, the way I used to do it, which is the hard way, you could also insert another box on top of it to give it a different color. <clears throat> so if you want to cut the text and you want this box to be, say, red. Then you could have two boxes, and then you could put text on top of it, which would really make it a little complicated. But you could do it. So you could really have two boxes in one and you could adjust the sizes of them or adjust the location, font and color and all of that. So, so it's really, really one method but you can also complicate it by adding a, a layer or a second box on top of the text box of the initial call out. So the simple method is just select your call out add your text, rotate it, resize it, color the text the way you want it, color the background, and you're done. If you want to make it a little more complicated, you can add a second layer, some shape with your text on top of it, and have different layers of colors.